Hey there scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So today I am going to discuss about a very important concept of time difference equation for bright and dark fringes in Young's double slit experiment. We always know about the path difference and the phase difference di equation for the fringes. But I do stress on this topic because sometimes the numericals they become very easy if you understand the time, time difference equation. <coughs> so these are S1 and S2 two sources and this is point P on the screen and S1 S2 midpoint and this is the center of the screen. Let me call that as O. Suppose the waves from S1 and S2 they meet at point P. So wave from S1 is traveling distance R1 and it is taking time T1 to reach from here to here with speed C because it's a electromagnetic wave light. In the same way this wave is taking time t2 as it is traveling more distance r2 but the speed is the same. These two are coherent sources. Now these two sources are emitting waves of same wavelength and everything frequency and everything is same right. So if I write down the path difference equation that is r2 minus r1 that is equal to n lambda because we are going to discuss about bright fringes and in the next <coughs> slide I am going to discuss the same for the dark fringes. Now distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So R2 is equal to C times T2 and again distance R1 is equal to C times T1. So I'm going to substitute the same values over here. Here the light waves are not getting accelerated moving with constant speed so you can apply this equation. So C times T2 minus C times T1 that is equal to n lambda. T2 minus T1 is equal to n lambda by c. <clears throat> now for any time any kind of waves we know that frequency multiplied by wavelength is equal to speed. So if I transfer this lambda over here so frequency is equal to c upon lambda. If I take the reciprocal I get the time period is equal to lambda by c. So now in this say equation number 1 t2 minus t1 that is equal to n. Now lambda by c we have calculated that is time period. So this is the time difference equation at point P of both the waves reaching over here. And if the, the uh, time difference is an integral multiple of capital T then the formation of fringe over here at this point will always be a bright fringe. So if the time difference is this then so I can say that for n is equal to 0 that is the uh, first sorry the central bright fringe the time difference delta t or t2 minus t1 is 0 and then for first bright fringe delta t time difference is capital T and so on right. <clears throat> now people you might have understood the calculation but the real logic we have to understand what is capital T. So suppose this is source S2 and let us consider that source S2 to be a bulb right and inside the bulbs there are atoms and there is a gas right so the gaseous atoms are oscillating inside and the oscillating gaseous atoms they produce electromagnetic wave right so if one atom is oscillating with frequency f suppose there are atom over here and this atom suppose if it oscillates with os uh, frequency f then it is going to produce an electromagnetic wave of the same frequency so whatever the time period of this atom is the same time period would be the time period of the wave. That means time taken to produce one wave is the time period. That is what is written over here. <clears throat> now if I discuss this concept very fast for the dark fringes S1, S2 sources, coherent sources and R1 and R2 are the distances, T1 and T2 to be the time, C is the speed suppose at point P there is a destructive interference right. So we know that the path difference that is R2 minus R1 that is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2. Now if I substitute C times T2 minus C times T1 that is 2n minus 1 lambda by 2. So again T2 minus T1 is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 c we know that t2 minus t1 
is equal to 2n minus 1. Again, this lambda by c becomes capital T divided by 2. So people, this is the time difference equation and I would like to, you know, make a point over here and highlight this one. This is very important. And <clears throat> so this is the this is the time difference equation delta t that is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda sorry t by 2 is the time difference equation for dark fringes and you can't put n is equal to 0 because n is equal to 0 is reserved for central bright fringe which is formed over here and you cannot apply this equation at this point this is the center of the screen because here bright fringes is formed and we are discussing about the dark fringes right so you can substitute n is equal to 1 so you are talking about first dark fringe and your answer delta t time difference would be uh, put n is equal to 1 so it would be capital T by 2 that means at this point if there is first dark fringe then the time difference would be t by 2 and again as you can proceed further like for second dark for second dark you can calculate delta t to be n is equal to 2 so it would be 3 t by 2 so hopefully guys you have understood this video well and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section and do subscribe to my channel and share my video thank you for watching the video